are we called Negroes? Why are we deaf, dumb, and black? Why is everybody making progress? Yet we seem to be lagging so far behind. Why are we mistreated? Why are we in this condition, stripped of our names, our language, our culture, our God, and our religion? Here in America, all of our religious training has been gotten by the preacher. He has told us of a heaven way up in the sky that we can't enjoy now, but rather after we die. For all of the years that we're living, for us there's nothing but hell, pain, torture, and misgiving. Yet the Bible speaks of a heaven filled with material luxury, which the white man and the preacher has right here, so we see. So my friend, take it for what it's worth. Your heaven and your hell is right here on this earth. So let's check back into history, which rewards all research and tells us plainly. Before the white man gained entry to the east, he was living in the caves of Europe, a ravenous beast, eating juniper root and eating flesh raw, till God sent Moses to civilize him and teach him the law. Then following Marco Polo, an explorer, he gained entry into Asia and Africa. From China, he took silk and gunpowder. From India, he took juice, manganese, and rubber. He raped Africa of her diamonds and her gold. From the Mideast, he took barrels of oil and coal. Raping, robbing, and murdering everything in his path. The whole black world has tasted of the white man's wrath. So, my friend, it's not hard to tell. A white man's heaven is a black man's hell. Born to be free 
and bring him down to slavery. Sell a man as merchandise, on his body put a price. Oh, my friend, it's easy to tell, white man heaven is black man hell. In a foreign land, they would stop 
The day 